Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to create this totally fake reflection in HitFilm Free. Now, I'm actually working in HitFilm Pro, but this will work in HitFilm Free. I have three different um, reflective materials that I will be playing with. I'm going to start by creating a composite shot. And I'm just going to call this the floor, uh, which will be the um, reflective material. Notice that I'm leaving this at HD. That way I don't get into any trouble with regard to uh, making a composite shot that's too big. I'm going to go ahead and just bring all three of these in. And I can just adjust these one at a time. I, that one looks good. That looks good. These all look good. I could, uh, obviously they're much bigger than, than that. So I could, uh, you know, for example, fit that to the frame. Uh, and I think I will. I can. That one does fit the frame. Uh, and this one here maybe fit to the uh, width of the frame. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So there's my floor. What I'll do is I'll create a new composite shot. We're just going to call this the final. And I'm going to bring in my floor. And I will click here and make this into a three dimensional plane. Opening up the transform properties, we'll go ahead and Make that 90 degrees and then just drag it down. All right. Now remember that if I change what's in the floor, uh, then it'll change automatically here in the uh, uh, in the final. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and create our text. And I'm just going to totally fake text. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go with that. So now what I need is uh, to reflect that down here. So uh, what will happen is I'll go ahead and take this text and right click on it and make it into its own composite shot we'll just call this text that way if i want to change the text in here i can procedurally do that and it will update uh, here in the final as well as in the reflection so now i can go ahead and right click and duplicate this and i'm going to name this reflection opening up the transform properties i'm going to unlink the scale and then make the y negative We'll just drag this down until it looks like it's about where it needs to be here on the uh, on the floor. OK, if I if I want to mess around with the floor, I can put a light on it. I can make a parallax effect on it uh, to give it some texture and things like that. But ultimately, I'm going to take a grade layer and put it above everything that is the floor and below everything that is the text and reflection and then the secret sauce of this will actually be the displacement effect so i'm going to use the displacement effect and i am going to go ahead and source the gray layer now i can change this to something like luminance and then i can just sort of slide that over this way okay and i can slide this this one also okay but then what will happen is i'll go ahead and duplicate that and then I'll make this a negative amount and I'll make this one a negative amount of the same of the same amount. And these numbers I would just sort of play with until I get what I like. But because it's sourcing the grade layer, it's basically using everything that's below the grade layer as if it's one big um, single layer to create that fake reflection right so now if i go back to floor and i make it a steel plate and i come back to the final you'll see that it updates it's now using the steel plate as its beautiful reflective material if i go back to floor and i use the wood uh, then when i go into there again it is reflecting on the wooden part of that now if i felt it was too much then i would i could always dial back the opacity of this a bit right so that it seems like it's just you know reflecting but not completely it's not a hundred percent reflective but yeah that sort of a thing right and basically that's it in a nutshell real quickly i just want to go ahead and add a light and i'm going to put that light under the grade layer and i can just sort of move this around maybe a little bit and then if i put a parallax effect on the floor composite shot and I knock that down to something fairly easy like five now the illumination is going now double so it's on the 
parallax as well as on the material. So I'm just going to turn off the material parallax or the material illumination, I mean. You can see that as I as I adjust the parallax and make it more, it obviously is diffusing that uh, reflection even more. If I go back in here and I change this again, then look at that, right? Now I have this beautiful looking totally fake reflection.